Hi, uh, what's going on guys, Tomo7 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Advancement Adventure where, in this series, I go on the quest to collect every single advancement in the game. In the last episode, we got quite a few things done today with, the temp well, in terms of advancements, we got a villager to the sky limit, if you could probably tell. In today's video, contrast what we did last time, I think we should do more of a, like, upgrade of what we did last time. We're still going to collect a lot of advancements, but I have an idea. Now, regarding what we did last time with the villagers getting to the sky limit, I feel like today we should get an iron farm or maybe even a mob farm set up. That way we can get resources along the lines of iron or maybe mob drops as well. Now, I can't exactly remember how an iron farm is created exactly, but I have an inkling of what we could do for creating it. I actually feel like over here is a good place to build them. I can build one here and maybe one over here. I'm not entirely sure if this is where I'll keep them, but this is a good temporary spot to have them. I've got a ton of wood. Even though I do want to kind of use it for that, I'm going to just use, say, half of it for the build. We'll just take that out. Now, from what I've seen, you want to build up at least, say, 15 to 20 blocks above the ground. That way, you are not letting the golems spawn on the ground. All right, so I'll say right about here is good, away from everything else. Although I might um, deforce some of the trees around the area quickly. 18, 19, 20. So right here is where we're gonna be building the thing. I have an idea, like I said, but I gotta be with it. Actually, I have an idea how we can do this. Uh, give me a minute, I'm actually gonna put the stuff up here in this chest and I'm gonna go back down and get some other stuff quickly. Before I do it, can I just say, take a look at this view right here. This is what we've created so far on the Advancement Adventure with everything. What in the hell are you doing? Wait, do I need doors? Is it like the old days where you need doors? Can't find the village, I think you just need beds and villagers. I have wool, but I might just go in and steal some beds. Do you know what, let me go to the village, grab the micro system that I had going and I will use that to bring the villagers back here. I love how on approach of the village you can just see the giant spire of dirt just sitting in the sky. It's so ominous yet so comical. So what I'm gonna do for this village is disable what it would be classified as a village and try and bring the villagers back to base. So grab this bed, did destroy this door. Apparently the zombies put the door down. Now, how do we get the villagers back? I'm going to have to run all the way back to the base and try and find more track, because there's clearly nothing here right now. Where are the tracks? Oh, that explains what they are. Oh, well, that worked. See you guys. Push you in. Go over here. Oh. You guys good? Okay, let's go. So we're gonna have to guide them now once they get to the thing. You'll yeah, find them now, but I need to get tracks to move you guys up the hill. Not over to the water, no, this direction. Stop moving this direction. This direction. Do you know what? Have it your way. Get on the track. And now take all the tracks up like so. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> now you're out of the way. Let me take this track and bam. Okay. All three of you are in good position. I'm gonna put put this here. Uh, I need to do this. Okay, up we go. Okay, now we grab the wood and we go back down quickly. Bump. There we go, got a staircase. We'll grab the table down up here as well so I can sort this out. I'm first going to make the walls of this place, which I know I'm going to make out of. I'm going to go do this. I decided that I'll use the same design of an iron farm that I used in another world that I got off the internet. This will be for the villagers to stand up here and also allow me to put some stuff down as well. You're all here. I'm going to get this guy into his own minecart quickly. I think I want F5 for this. That way, I think goes as planned. And you're up. Nice. Okay. You're in place. Let me get you all the way over here. And up. You go. There we go. All the villagers up here safe and sound. Now we need to take the beds and place them in here. Yeah, I don't even remember how many I need. I think it's just four I actually need. If that is the case, then I've got too many beds, but I'm going to need to get one more villager, maybe. I just realized this guy's a creeper face on the back of it. Yeah, look at that. Get you guys on the tracks and then push you up onto the beds. That way I can just break all the minecarts and then you can just be in here. Now, we don't have all the villagers yet. We still need one more for this to work, I think. But we can find out once I get the upper section done. Now, for this to work, I'm going to put the next surface up top. And then, I need to get lava, actually. I don't have any lava on me. Well, there's a whole lava lake over there. I don't remember the exact build, so I'm just going to kind of modify what I think will be a good build. And that would be to do this, I think. Bada boom, bada bam. Signs. Now what I kind of forgot to get was hoppers, but I can go back down and grab those. Don't exactly know how far I'm allowed to go with this because I think there might be a, lim a, a limit before it gets inefficient. If any of you guys have seen this kind of build before, then congratulations, you know 
what this is and you know what's about to come. Okay, get in here, block that up and check. It should be a... That's actually perfect. The Iron Flush is straight onto that. I'm kind of impressed that's actually the perfect spacing for it. I need to destroy this and then we can find out. Well, no, I need to get one more villager up here, so... I'm not entirely done yet. Uh, okay, then let's go find that last villager that I need. Okay, newsflash. I just checked to see if there's any other villages from a village finder, and the next one's not for a few hundred blocks. So I think we're just gonna leave it for now and then maybe make a breeder. Which, another thing about it, let's have a quick look at the advancements and see what we could get. We could do some nether ones. Those are the days. I've not found a bastion yet, seriously. I might as well go find a bastion then. I feel I feel like let's go into the nether and try to obtain ancient debris or get into a bastion. Which if I find ancient debris in a bastion, then I get three advancements in one situation. But there's one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm gonna take this stuff with this crappy gear. I think I'll just leave all this with me and I will take well I'll take my bow. Alright, let's go and get I'll just see if we can find a bastion in the area. My first guess where a bastion would be would be off in that direction, but I don't really know. And then again, there's this area over here, so I'm actually gonna go down this direction and maybe see if I can find something. So judging by the coordinates of the bastion finder, I should be able to dig straight forward. Oh, there it is. We found it. I don't even know what type of bastion this is. Oh, there we go. Those are the days. I hear brutes. Oh, what the? Well, that was a jump scare and a half. Whoopsies. And this is why I didn't take anything with me, because I knew I would lose all of it. Alright, guys, we are back where we were. I'm gonna be careful I don't get jumped again. I just wanna be careful that I don't get smashed on top of my head again. Okay, so we're going the aggressive route, and we're gonna smack Ash them all to pieces. Jeez, you guys can take a lot. Okay, so we're in the bottom of the bastion. I think it's safe now. I'm just gonna fortify this corner off. That way, everything's safe. And now we can actually. Take a look at the chest, I think. Alright. Let's have a look. Warp eggs! There we go. Soul speed. Nah, not much of this food here. I'll take that. Maybe myself a wee base camp here, because there's a wee ducat that I can kind of slot myself in. If I can find even one piece of ancient debris, then that set, seals the deal for that. Okay. Diamond shovel. Nice. I'll take that for sure. Bone blocks. Crime obsidian. That's going to be really good. Let me go back over here and dump the stuff in my chest and then we'll go for the mid. You know, I'd really like it if you didn't come my direction. Ugh, got it. Okay, that's that taken care of. Now I can just kind of This isn't gonna work. I need to go a different direction. They're all aggravated here, so if I go around the other side then maybe I can catch them. Okay. New plan. Let's go from the high road. This is scary because there could be any sort of brute that can come on top of you any minute. And also if I drop down there I'm gonna be screwed. So I've gotta kinda of build a wall. Okay, this is bad. We're alive, we're okay. I could have gone way worse than what I wanted to go, but it's working. Oh crap! My iron pickaxe! Okay, I really hope there's a diamond pickaxe in here. Let's do this. I should be fine. Ooh, injury! Hey! Hidden in the depths! There we go! Got some diamond helmets, a bunch of gold. I like to see this sort of stuff. Oh, never mind! I got something that's beautiful! Diamond sword, three helmets. Who in the hell holds stores three helmets in their step chest? Now, I want to get all this gold, but there is a problem. I don't have any iron, so I'm gonna have to actually... Never mind, I actually realized that I have iron from the chest. I'm an idiot. <laughs> My best plan of action is to go through the upper section. Okay, we're right here. Now we can put the stuff away. Once I've done this, that's mainly all the stuff done. There's still a few things. But that's the main things. Still keep my guard up, but I am getting every bit of gold. Alright, that's everything. 12 blocks of gold to go along with everything else we got. There's still a few things I want to check, because there are more places up there. And I've got no idea where the other things are. But I got to find- I just got to look for them. Because I know there's a few more chests around the area, but I'm not sure where they are. Where's the entrance even lead? Give me a minute. Because if I know this, this has an exit. Oh! It's a very interesting bastion. It's kind of submerged in the ground. Oh boy! That could go on way worse. Okay, you're down. You've fallen down, you're down there, you're- there's still one over there, but I can take care of these. There's still more chests and more gold that I want to get, but I'm going to be in a pickle. I know you're up here somewhere. There we go. Oh, here we go. Some nice stuff. 
I'm gonna quickly split this off. Or more or less, just kind of like, create my own kind of roof for this. This way I can just break the chest. Okay. There we go. Now, we've got a bunch of stuff now. I'm gonna put one chest over here. As to... Just kind of dump everything in here. If I sound tired, then that's because I am. I've been doing this for hours. And <laughs> this is getting really intense as well, so... I'm really having to focus. Just put all my concentration towards it if I thought that I was dead. There is an eventual top to the bastion, but I don't know where that is. Or how far up it is. Oh. Speak the devil. Like, this is just barely poking out of the thing. That's kind of funny. I don't like how that's so close. He's probably up. He's on the other side of the wall. That's where the bit. That's where the chest is. Hello there. Oof, okay. We're safe. Okay. A lot of stuff. Soul speed too, that's actually really good. We need a scrap as well, I didn't even notice that. Let's grab it quickly. And go. Alright, that's all the stuff from these sections, but I'm not done yet. There's still gold around the back of the Sebastian. I know that from just watching speed runs and videos of Minecraft. I wonder if these pillars are designed like this, but the players can just go up and down like this. Something to consider. <gasps> Boy, okay, that's a big fall. I didn't know this would go backwards like that. Thankfully it landed on a crevice like that. Okay. Where is it? Did I go? I think I've gone past it, actually. Let me check. Yeah, okay, I did go the right, the wrong direction. So it's in the same level as the thing. First set of right here. Boom. I think it's the one piece here. And I think there's a few more in the area, so let's just check. I think the gold exposed, so I don't have to go looking in for them. It feels weird seeing one of the pillars destroyed, because I put a spiral down. Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's get it. Boom. I think that's everything. Don't think there's any more gold to get. So what I say, let's just go. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 get out. That's it. We have cleared the entire bastion, and this is what we've gotten. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm taking back with me, but I will have to decide that in the next episode. Because I think that for now, I'm just going to leave it here. In this position, exactly right here. Right here where I'm standing. I'm going to finish it off, because... There's been a lot going on, and most of most of it's been a kind of a fail because I wasted time trying to get the iron farm set 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 it up set set up, but only to realize that I was one villager short, which kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video on the advancement adventure episode 12, I believe it is. We got a few advancements there in the end. We got obtained we uh, one ancient debris we got from the bastion. We got into the bastion itself, and then we looted the chest, which we got three. Like I said, in the moment we went to go get into the bastion three in the one. If you guys liked today's video then check a like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the usual, and if you enjoy Smash Bros. Platoon or anything like that, then you might also enjoy some of my content that I do other than Minecraft. So you can subscribe for that as well. But anyways guys, thank you for watching today's video, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!